Hello everybody, so we're still talking about the Maquette Thiele diagram and uh, plotting it on MATLAB uh, or using MATLAB. So um, we we stopped in the last video on the um, uh, plotting of the Q-line and we were able to um, do the uh, plotting and we saw that even in the case of the Q when it is um, equals to 1 and we have infinite uh, slope for the Q line we can we can use an if conditional to uh, plot it in the um, in this way that we see here um, and now we will see how to um, um, to draw the top section line and we we know from the um, from the uh, equation of the top section that it is a straight line that connects the point of XD and XD to the point of 0 and XD over R plus 1 um, but we do not know R and we said we need to find um, the R by calculating the minimum reflex ratio and the minimum reflex ratio is the value of the reflex ratio that gives an infinite number of stages and this happens when we have the top section intersecting <coughs> with the equilibrium curve and in this case this how the q line would look like i mean the top section would look like and this point will be xd over one plus r minimum so if we can do this we can get the uh, value of r minimum in some cases the equilibrium curve uh, is not um, especially in the non-ideal uh, systems or highly non-ideal systems you will find that the equilibrium curve would be very close to the 45 line here and then it gets farther from there and in this case you will have the intersection of the top section with the equilibrium curve um, can can be achieved in, at this point before before it reaches this this point and in this case the r minimum would be of different value would be bigger value than what you would have here uh, and in this case you, you cannot use the equations that we are going to use today to do the uh, to calculate the minimum reflex ratio in this case you have to do it uh, kind of manually uh, but in this video we will go with the ideal case or with the with the general case uh, where you will get the minimum value by getting the q line or the top section line passing through the um, intersection of the q line and the equilibrium curve so um what we do is we, we extend the line from here, passes through the intersection point and goes cuts here at xd over 1 plus r and from this point, the value of this point, we can get the value of r minimum then multiply it by a factor to um, from 1.2 to 1.5, whatever the value that you want to use and then we uh, use the xd over 1 plus r to be the actual value of um, um, or, or the, uh, the, act the point on the actual top section line um, these are the equations that we are gonna use, or, or this is what we're, we're gonna do it in MATLAB. Um, it's gonna be uh, solving equations together. So the first part is to get this point on the curve, uh, or, uh, or, or the point of intersection between the Q-line and the uh, equilibrium curve, which will be solving this equation with th this equation. And this can be done uh, by equating the left-hand side, and then the right-hand side will be equal, and this is how the equation will look like. Um, this can be solved because we know all the parameters, we know the value of Q, we know X feed, we know the alpha, so we can um, use F solve in MATLAB to get the value of X, which we will ca we'll call X pinch for instance, like what we say here. Uh, and Y pinch can be calculated from the equation of the Q line or the equation of the equilibrium curve, whatever, because it satisfies both equations. And then the next point is to um, draw the um, or top section line. Um, you do not actually need to draw it, but we need to get the value of the intercept of the line that passes from XD and passes by the um, the pinch point. And the, this is a straight line. We know two points, X pinch, Y pinch, XD and XD. And you can get the, it's a straight line equation, so it's going to be Y equals slope multiplied by X plus the intercept. And the slope is the difference of y divided by the difference in x, which we can easily calculate. And then the intercept is um, uh, uh, we can get the, the the intercept by by substituting with any of the two points, either uh, either uh, x pinch y pinch or x d and x d uh, in this equation. And if we use x d, it will be uh, this is the intercept. It's x d minus r minimum slope multiplied by x d. And then you can calculate the value. Of xd uh, of r minimum, I'm sorry, because you know the intercept equals xd plus one uh, divided by one over r, one plus r, uh, and then we can get the r minimum as xd divided by r minimum intercept minus one. So this is how we will we will do this. 
um, and then we will draw this line and from this line we need to get the point of intersection between the Q line and the actual top section line which is gonna be the X and Y intersect which is gonna be done the same way like what we did in this point um, so let's let's take it step by step um, and go back to MATLAB and see how we will deal with it so let's take it as the first part as the R minimum and R calculation um, and for the R minimum we said we will uh, start first by getting the equation we know the equation of the Q line here and we know the equation of the equilibrium curve here so we will um, use F solve so we will get what we call the R X pinch and um, it's gonna be F solve at X um, is gonna be Q um, equilibrium or Q equation of X minus Y equilibrium of x so I'm um, this is exactly what I um, did here so this is what I did okay <clears throat> and then start with x feed or whatever value it doesn't matter um, as a it's between 0 and 1 so it, it's not a big deal and we will put the options here because I'm not interested in the um, um, the solution steps so I will put the options here um, as optim set display of okay and now um, we can calculate why pinch equals the let's say it is um, the y equilibrium of x pinch so now we will we should be able to calculate the point of or, or the coordinates of the point of intersection which is um, this point on the curve um, I'll, I'll, I'll make it for Q for instance point five, and let's run it has it's showing up an error here it says that um, Q equation let's see what I call it um, so this this is the problem I don't know uh, equation oh I'm sorry so it should be okay so it, it gives me the X um, pinch and Y pinch point 41 point 58 it's point 41 point 58 working fine um, let's make the Q equals oh, zero for instance so it's giving me uh, X pinch point 33 which looks right and the y pinch point five so it's, it's working fine however if you put q equals one you wouldn't get any value of x pinch and it's gonna give you um, an error here um, and this is actually because um, the, equal, the 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 slope equals zero in the equation of the q um, and MATLAB cannot do any calculations with the infinite slope so to do this you need to have an if conditional like the one we, we had here and this if conditional would say that if Q equals 1 then the X pinch um, X pinch would be always the same value as 0.5 which is the X feed okay um, else it's gonna be um, calculated from the equation as we said and that's all what we need to do so if we run the file now it should be able to get the x pinch and y pinch which it did here it's 0 0.5 0 0.666 which is here so i'm now able to get the value of the um, coordinates of the uh, intersection of the q line with the equilibrium curve uh, one thing you can do to kind of be more uh, um, sure that it's it's uh, it's going well that you can kind of put write an equation of top section uh, which is gonna be at X um, oh I didn't calculate the R I'm, I need to do the R calculation first which is uh, so I'm, I'm done with this part now I did the get got expansion my pinch we need to get the R minimum slope which is what we're gonna calculate here so it's our minimum slope it's gonna be the difference of y which is x d minus y pinch divided by x d minus x pinch and the r minimum intercept 
is gonna be um, is gonna be uh, 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 xd minus r minimum slope multiplied by xd and we will get uh, oops I'm sorry and now we will get the x or the r minimum equals xd divided by intercept minus 1 uh, x d divided by r minimum intercept minus one. Um, so so and then we can get r equals one point four for instance multiplied by r minimum. Um, so on the file we should be able to some statement is oh okay because this is not done. But we we can get now the value of r. Oh it didn't calculate it. So let's just hide this. Uh, we can get the final the value of r minimum which is 1.7 the uh, r is 2.38 to kind of make sure that your r is right we can do the uh, plotting of the top section line using the actual value of r so we know that the top section line equals um, r divided by but i'm, I'm going to calculate it using r minimum uh, 1 plus r minimum and this is multiplied by x um, and um, plus xd divided by 1 plus r minimum um, and then you can if plot the top section um, starting from um, I'd say from xd to 0 and um, it, there's something wrong in the F plot. Oops, it's not here. Um, in here, um, it cannot plot. Uh, um, I don't know what's wrong. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Um, so F plot cannot start from a small value to the larger value. That's why I didn't draw it. But this is it's a success here because you see that. Uh, this line is passing by exactly the same point of intersection of the Q line and the top section line uh, and the equilibrium curve. So this is exactly what I'm trying to do. So now I'm, I'm happy because I am able to um, to uh, draw the minimum reflex ratio right uh, or calculate the minimum, minimum reflex ratio right. What I'm going to do now is to keep the same equation but I'm using the actual R instead of the minimum reflex ratio and in this case when you do the plot you would see that this is how the top section line would look like okay so I'm, I'm now done with the top section line and it is um, it's perfect now you don't need to worry about anything and again if you change the value of Q it's gonna work for instance if you put it like zero it's working if you put it like um, uh, 1.5 it's working nothing nothing is wrong about it and now comes the next point is to get the point of intersection um, what we say here to get the point of intersection between um, the top section the actual top section and the Q line okay and in this case you would do exactly what we did before um, so I'm gonna say the top and bottom sections so I'm, I'm just taking this here so that uh, because the top and bottom sections are kind of connected uh, somehow as we will see so I need to get the point of intersection first so what I'm, I need to do is to I'm, I'm gonna take it here um, and I am gonna do the X uh, intersect which is the, the point of actual intersection of the top and point uh, and the bottom section and I'm gonna use the if solve at x and it's gonna be top section of x minus the Q equation right of x and I'm gonna start with xf options and the y intersect is gonna be the top section of x intersect so this is what i'm doing now is i'm getting the coordinates of this point 
uh, which are the x and y so if i run the file now um, i'm expecting the x to be 0.5 something and the y to be 0 0.68 0 0.69 so this is y intersect 0 0.69 the x intersect is 0 0.56 which is great so i'm now able i'm now able to get the coordinates of this point i can kind of do something that is uh, what i did before because i if, if i put q equals one this this is gonna work um, for the same reason i'm not able to solve an equation with an infinite slope so i need to put here an if conditional that if q equals one then x intersect equals o, um, x oops x feed otherwise x intersect is going to be calculated by solving the equation simultaneously and i'm ending this y intersect is going to be calculated so i am good to go so if i put it equals one um, I can get the coordinates of x intersect 0 .5, 0 0.5, y intersect is 0 0.633. So it is now perfect. Now I need to, I can, I can um, make the, the plot more cleaner by removing this part because I'm not going to do anything with this part of the top section. So I can, instead of using f plot, I can plot um, because I know the, the point of intersection now. So it's going to be starting from um, xd and ending with x intersect and with the y starting from xd to y intersect um, so this is something that will make the plot more cleaner if i for instance put the q equals 0.25 and i run the file it's gonna work very well so i'm now good to go for the bottom section which is gonna be very similar to this but it's starting from xw and xw and here i have everything ready for um, drawing the the stages so uh, for instance now if i change all the givens here so let's take a look um, final look at this um, if i change the x feed to 0.35 xd to 0.99 xw 0.01 q to point um, zero alpha two three and i run the file it's gonna work nothing is gonna be bad about what i'm doing so it's now very very nice to um to work with i'm just missing one little thing here which is the x label and y label so i'm i'm put the x label as x y label as y and when i run the file i have everything here um, and it's, it's now ready to draw the stages. So this is what we're going to do in the next video, inshallah. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.